my character is playing a character the whole time because he sees himself as a performer. Um, so, you know, in, in every other movie I've done, it's a more kind of naturalistic way of performing because you're playing, you know, kind of like a human and you're showing a vulnerable side and all that stuff. But with this character, um, you know, he's somebody who feels most comfortable playing this character. He changed his name to J. Daniel Atlas from something far less flattering. And he is on all the time. He's, you know, he's like cocky and assured and performing. But because he is playing a role in his life, he's decided to become a magician and play this role of and change his name to Atlas, which is like, what's more dramatic than changing your name to the book that displays the whole world, is this need for like putting on this persona. And so it's really freeing because as an actor, you feel like, well, anything I could do is right. Well, Atlas creates these huge shows that they do for, you know, big audiences, but, uh, you know, I think. The coolest things that he, he does are for small crowds. In the opening of the movie, he's doing a show for a large group, but he's really performing for just one person. And um, he does this amazing trick where he uh, has somebody um, select the Seven of Diamonds, and then it appears on the Sears Tower, like on the full uh, front of the Sears Tower. And so um, he's only doing it for a handful of people, and more specifically for this one person in the audience. And so. Um, you know, it's not, uh, you know, he's not doing it for vanity, he's not doing it, um, you know, for money, he's doing it really to do it. Atlas loves uh, the FBI because he feels like he's so far ahead of them. Um, and in, in a lot of ways he is. I mean, At Atlas is somebody who has kind of already considered what the other side is going to do before he does anything and, uh, and accounts for it and sidesteps it. So, um, you know, my character loves loves the fact that he's being followed by the FBI, he loves the fact uh, that, he's, um, that he's being followed by uh, you know, a debunker who Morgan Freeman plays because um, I think he feels like he's so far ahead of them that anything they could do just makes him look better because you know, they have so much at their disposal and still can't keep up. For my character needing to kind of feel 10 steps ahead of everybody else, he brings in this benefactor to you know, finance these huge, uh, these huge shows that they perform. Um, and then <laughs> during one of the shows, uh, um, steals his money right, in front of him. And, um, and it's just, it's, again, it's not, it's not because they want to steal this guy's money. And it's also not necessarily because they feel they need to do good, even though they probably uh, uh, like that part of it, but mostly it's because they want to um, show this guy who feels that he's in on their team, that he's not in on their team. You know, it's these magician who really feel like what they do is so special and so, uh, and so far above kind of what this guy does is, you know, they steal his money in front of him to show that what they do is kind of more important and more interesting.